Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 9 tutorials. So guys in this specific video we are going to discuss about how can we implement summer note editor in Laravel 9. As you can see I have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which I have defined all the necessary steps in order to make it easier to implement. Yes and easier to understand as well. Okay, so uh, if you don't know what is summer uh, summer note editor, uh, if you are following me from the blogging project, you know we have implemented the seek editor in our blogging project. It's similar to that. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to use. I just came to know. So I wanted to share this information with you. So let's say, for example, if you have a blog project or you have a website in which you are creating the front end data using your website back end, for example, you are create, uh, creating a blog in which you have a title, you have a subtitle, you have a description, you have some items that are bold, you have links, images. In that case is or in those cases you can simply implement summer note editor or CK editor. So we have already seen how can we implement CK editor. So it's time to test the summer note editor. So yeah guys, let's move to step number one which says that we need to create a fresh Laravel project or we can use an existing Laravel project. If you have Laravel globally installed, you can simply use this command. If you don't have Laravel globally installed, you can simply use this command. In my case, I'm going to use an existing project from last video and the name is barcode one okay and let me show you the sublime part here uh, barcode one so yeah we can simply i in my case i can simply move to step number two if you want to use uh, create a fresh project it's totally up to you if you want to use an existing project once again it's totally up to you so step number two uh, we can simply copy and paste this basic html okay so let's move to sublime and i'm going to create a view so new view paste everything and name it as summer node.blade.php okay so yeah now let's see the form uh, basically we have a simple form and let me correct this mistake okay okay and right here as well okay so in this form uh, we have simply a submit button okay and one text area which we are going to insert uh, there's a form with method post and there is no action because in our case we are just going to see how can we implement summer node okay so this is our basic form and the text area have a name and its id and using the id we are going to create the summer node so let's move to step number three which says that we need to create a route in order to view the form okay so let's move to web.php and right here i'm going to create a new route route get and let's say name would be editor okay and let's define the path app http controllers and product control i'm in my case i'm going to use an existing controller and the name is product controller method would be same editor okay just like the route as you can see here so now step number four uh, we need to create a method to return the view so let's move to my product controller and you can use your own controller whatever you like so function and basic method editor okay using which we are just going to return the form so return view and view name is summer note okay that's about it now let's run our project Let's see what we have for now. PHP artisan serve port 8080. Okay. <clears throat> mm. Okay, so our uh, server is running now. Let's move here. Okay. <clears throat> Let's move to editor view. Editor. So this is what we have. So far, sorry, where is the four? Uh, yeah here sorry for that okay so yeah this is our basic view we have a text area okay and we have a save button that's about it now let's move for the uh, notepad and let's implement the step number five which says that we need to get the bootstrap cdn you can simply use this uh, link as well and if you don't want that you can simply do bootstrap for cdn just like that okay so let's move to the first link and i'm going to just copy the css or link file and let's paste it right here just below the title and then let's move again and let's copy the js files so copy and paste it just below the link or css file 
align those items and let's do a refresh and let's see what we have now so we have our bootstrap 4 implemented this is our text area and this is our a button okay now step number six which says that we need to get the summer node cdn you can simply use this link or you can simply type it on the google summer node cdn or docs whatever you like okay so in my case let's move here summer node.org website installation part so this is the basic installation and uh, let's say if you want to implement this and you want to get more details you need to deep dive right here okay so it's uh, it's totally up to you whatever you would like okay so since i have implemented bootstrap 4 so i'm going to copy this one but in our case we have already have our uh, bootstrap cdn uh, css and js files okay so i'm just going to get the uh, summer node uh, CSS and JS from here okay because I can also use these scripts and link but in that case you will have some alignment issues and other stuff that's why I am using it from right here so you can try this one that one and you will see what I'm talking about okay so in our case I can simply use bootstrap 4 and summer node CDN you can see right here and right here okay so yeah let's move here and let's paste it sorry i did it twice i think so this is bootstrap and let's copy it here okay summer node summer node yeah fine okay now what we need to do is we can simply use this id and create a summer node ck editor okay so let's do that first of all i'm going to have a script here okay and then dollar document dot ready function okay dollar using the summer note id basically this text area id right here i'm creating a editor okay summer note just like that okay and let's see what we have now let's do a refresh okay now you can see we have our editor and you can uh, check for the most of right here uh, whatever your options you have we have height option so let me show it to you so in case if i want to pass parameter i have to do it like this height let's say 300 okay let's see the difference you can see it now okay and let's say placeholder and that would be let's say here goes the description okay just like that and let's do a refresh okay now let's test it out what we can do with the ck editor so for example if i want to align this you, i can simply do it like this hi okay next line and i want let's say here is my youtube channel link see it is going to point you out if you have wrote something wrong so that's not how we write youtube it should be like this okay so yeah there is correction as well so now let's say i want to pass my youtube channel link so text to display would be all about laravel okay and the link would be let's say https youtube.com slash c slash okay just like that insert link okay now i if i click on this link and i click it right here you can see i am redirected to my channel okay sorry for my internet okay so yeah you can see that okay so now i want to show you a basic example for example let's say if you want to see this specific data in exactly same format in that case what you need to do is you need to pass all of the data in the same uh, let's say way for example if you have paragraph here break line here and let's say if you have a link here you don't need to manipulate this data you just need to insert it uh, uh, exactly like this in the database so for example i will show you what we have in this case and for that i have to uh, just create uh, an extra route so that i can show you whatever we have in the request so this is just for the demo so that you know what you need to do so create okay and this is a route action url okay now let's move here i'm just going to copy this and paste it here create okay and let's say create once again let's move here public function create 
request request and let's die and dump all dd dollar request all okay uh i'm just going to copy this let's see if it works okay let's do a refresh let's paste it out okay so i have to align this actually like this so i'm not able to align it sorry for that okay let's align okay hi and let's say all here is my channel youtube channel link let's say youtube channel link and simply i have to define the link again and text to display would be all about laravel okay insert and right here you can see now let's let me fix this okay now let's do the save okay okay i made a mistake sorry for that i want to show you guys i know it's the video is getting lengthy but i just want to show you sorry for that okay so since I was not able to center align the text. I just want to show you this step specifically. So here is YouTube channel link. Okay. And let's fix this. Okay. And let's do a link here all about Laravel and okay let's save it insert okay save and right here you can see we have a summer note and we have a p tag with style text align center then high then break line then other stuff and then we have an anchor with the link target would be blank so that it is it opens up on a new tab okay so yeah guys that's what i wanted to show you so what you need to do is if you are using this for crud you need to pass this and save this exactly the way in the database so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care